and this is a video of the Russians after destroying this convoy. Nice work. Ukrainian intelligence is doing a great job. Just look at the massive number of enemies they detect. Drones have followed the target to a stopping point. Right after that, a precision strike from the HIMARS. And this convoy was very close to the Ukrainian positions. The drone is getting farther away. And we see HIMARS missiles searing the enemy. Four precision strikes leave nothing but ash. And these two trucks try to escape, but there's no escaping from the HIMARS. Precision strike, and mission accomplished. These trucks are on their way, but Ukrainian intelligence has spotted them in time. Several HIMARS open fire at once. The Ukrainian armed forces hit the beginning and the end of the column. And the final blow is on the targets in the middle. Trucks together with ammunition brightly turn into atoms. And now pay attention to these shots. This is the Tornado SMLRs, along with a huge amount of ammunition for it. One shot of HIMARS is enough to wipe this place off the face of the earth. And this Russian grad doesn't even realize it's been watched for a long time. The Ukrainians are following him right into the warehouse, and it's a very good decision. On the right, we see the new ammunition that is going to be installed on the grad. But here's a surprise. Another grad arrives at the warehouse. Hymers fires a shot. The hit sets the ammunition on fire. The fire causes them to shoot in different directions. Immediately afterward, Hymers delivers the final blow. The target is destroyed. But the recon didn't stop there. It also found a Tornado MLRS. The cost of one of these is about $3 million. One HIMARS rocket, and that money, is now dust. And what have we got here? Now we have three grads at once. The first strike ignites only one target. After the second strike, the MLRS starts firing uncontrollably. Another example of idiocy. Four APCs are destroyed by a single missile. And this is a legendary moment. The Ukrainians discover an incredibly huge column of Russians. I've rarely seen anything like this. Lots of APCs, MTLBs, trucks, and at the tail end of the column are tanks, the most important target. Artillery can't reach the enemy, so the decision is made to hit with precision weapons. Of course, that's HIMARS. But the strike is not on the entire column, but just on the six most important targets. All of the priority targets have been destroyed, that's not the end of the legendary moments. We'll show them to you a little further on. This grad certainly didn't know it was being followed. It leads the AFU right to the occupier's hideout. As soon as the grad stops, the command to attack is given. The HIMARS high precision missile hits the target. And here, intelligence detects several targets at the same time. The Russian book isn't ready. The HIMARS powerful strike turns the can into atoms. Estrella Sam is found nearby. Incredible accuracy. No explosion, but the machine is definitely disabled. Sonsepec is preparing an attack. HIMARS was close by, the missiles going off. You have to agree. Nothing explodes as beautifully as the Russian Sonsepec MLRs. So I will show you this beauty again. It may seem that there is nothing among the trees, but there is Sonsepec hidden here. The missile hits the target. A billion Russian rubles are burned among the trees. Here is another interesting situation. We all know how important it is to hit the enemy's logistics. Here is an example of such destruction. 
The Ukrainians are waiting to destroy a large number of vehicles at once. And here it is. The time has come. HIMARS strikes with a single missile. The trucks are engulfed in fire. They contain ammunition that explodes one by one. Another massive explosion hits the Russian supply line. The first HIMARS strike hits the refueling vehicles. The vehicle catches fire. And when the temperature becomes critical, we see a massive explosion. The shrapnel hits another vehicle. As a result, the target is either destroyed or critically damaged. It's a similar moment. Russian vehicles are loaded with ammunition. A precision strike on one of the vehicles causes panic. The truck burns to a crisp right on the spot. These are the cars HIMARS has to give a parking ticket to. Look how many there are. If this strike succeeds, the supply line will be seriously damaged. Perfect performance. The fire turns them to ash along with their ammunition. Found an electronic warfare station as well. It's not too bad to use HIMARS on it. Two shots and the target is destroyed. And this is the very point I was talking about earlier. Look how many targets there are for the AFU. The AFU decides to use HIMARS. From a bird's eye view, we see the first strike arrive. Right after that, HIMARS uses cluster munitions. Here we see two control points on the sides and a very valuable S-400 radar station. A very important target. The control center is destroyed first. HIMARS hits the radar next. The hits take out the target. I'd also like to show you HIMARS paired blows. It's very spectacular. Two instantaneous explosions occur in parallel. You can't prepare for that. Now it's the turn of the two SPHs. You can see the HIMARS missiles landing on them from the sky. Two more Russian tin cans are preparing to attack, but not today. Hitting the first target, and moments later, the second. The targets have been successfully destroyed. Artillery installations are also a priority target for Himars. This is where the AFU found the Russian Tulpan. A very precise strike disables the installation. Now the fire will slowly finish what they started. And here is the Russian artillery installation. Peony. The Ukrainian armed forces take a long time to track it right to its positions. As soon as the Russians stop, Hemers makes his move. The powerful explosion leaves only black smoke from the target. And this is a 125mm D20 howitzer. We can see how it is firing at the AFU. We need to react quickly before it does much damage. From a great height, the drone detects an explosion. Bright flames can be seen from a great distance. Near the installation was a lot of ammunition that gradually detonates. Mission accomplished. The AFU did not miss another Russian pion. It was unable to hide in the dense thickets of a forest plantation. From afar we can see that the strike was successful. What's this? Another pion has been spotted moving nearby. It has the same fate. This Musta SPH is very careful. As soon as it fires all its ammunition, it immediately hides in cover. But is that an obstacle for HIMARS? Of course not. The machine explodes spectacularly, along with the ammunition. And this is a unique case. The AFU has spotted an engineering system of remote mines, Zemledelia. The shell explodes nearby, but the fragments damage the launching shaft. The munitions fly in all directions, leaving a white trail behind them. 